Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For all of you guys that don't know me, I'm Mina. Very, very nice to meet you. Thank you for being here. I am a certified life and relationship coach. For all of you guys that are new to my channel, so welcome. So today's topic that... If you guys hear movement in the background, okay? Like little feet or little paws moving around with nails. That is my foster dog that I am taking care of right now. So he likes to make his appearance whenever he pleases. Um, so excuse that guys, I apologize ahead of time. I have no control over that one. My other dog is just calm, cool, will lay down. That's him right now with my dog. Max? Max? I apologize, I apologize guys. Max! Okay guys, sorry about that. Let's get back to what we were talking about. So today's topic that I wanted to discuss with you guys is the topic of how to stop neglecting yourself. So before we begin, let's talk a little bit about why we abandon ourselves in the first place and the reason we stop giving ourselves what we truly need. As some of you may have already guessed it, it all stems from our childhood. And for any of you guys that didn't guess it, that's totally okay. When I was doing my own healing journey, it took me some time to figure it all out as well. So please be easy with yourself. So now to explain this a little bit more in depth, when you were a child, it's very likely that your parents or your caregivers didn't provide the emotional and or physical needs that you very much needed, which caused you to feel unworthy and not important. Unfortunately, this didn't stop in childhood and kept moving along with you in life, becoming a bigger and bigger issue. Many times as adults, we tend to repeat these patterns because they are all too common and familiar. This shows when we choose partners or friends that mistreat or abuse us in more than one way or welcome people into our lives that take full advantage of us and are only around when they need something. As an adult, neglect resurfaces frequently when we don't value ourselves. We put the rest of the world ahead of ourselves, which keeps us from acting in our own best interest. This happens more frequently to people that tend to be people pleasers. They will do whatever they need to do to make the other person happy, even if it means it costs their own happiness. We start focusing on everyone else around us and stop encouraging and comforting our own selves. So now, how do we change this? How do we work on improving this about ourselves? I have a few tips for you guys that will help you start that journey. Number one, commit to wanting to heal. Knowing now that this all stems from childhood, to many people out there, this can really be a culture shock. Realizing that healing is needed and accepting that can really be a lot. This is where we're really taking the big steps. And this can mean many different things. For many people out there who are comfortable, a therapist or a counselor is a great resource. Well, because you're opening parts of you that have never been open. So baby steps, even though for you, they're big steps. Other options are really researching the subject matter and really doing your own homework regarding this. Some examples of this are online courses, getting a few books on this subject, and even group therapy. This is more in the event when you're ready to start healing but not quite ready for a one-on-one -on -one with a therapist. Number two, practice mindfulness. What do I mean by this? This is where you have to switch from autopilot to really start noticing what you're doing and how you're reacting to circumstances around you, especially yourself. Many times we have this idea that the entire world is leaning on us and we have to be that superwoman or superman to save the day. The truth is, if you don't complete something and you save it for the next day, life won't stop. It still continues. 
And I get that there are deadlines and things that can't hold off. And of course, that can always be a possibility, but that's not the majority of your life. Every day is not a deadline and every assignment is not urgent. When we start realizing that we've been stretching ourselves out thin and working through our breaks and past 5 p.m. every day or every other day or even on weekends, we really start seeing why we're as stressed as we are, as tired as we are, as cranky as we are, as we should be with this type of lifestyle. None of that is normal, like at all. This is where you have to step in and break the cycle. So take the breaks that are needed and well-deserved. Take that walk by yourself to clear your mind. Call your best friend or your sister or your mom to laugh a little and just shoot the breeze. Chatting, smiling, laughing, resting are all beneficial for your soul. Number three, allow yourself to have feelings and needs. Many people who are currently in this situation have years of neglecting their own feelings and the things they've needed. They literally never allow their feelings to come out, let alone acknowledge them. This goes the same for their needs. Their needs were never a priority. They were never important. They were never really a big deal. People like that have put their own feelings to the side and made sure that everyone around them got what they needed, got what they wanted, made sure they were always happy, made sure they were always fulfilled. At the same time, as they were giving, 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 they were depleting themselves more and more. Working 24 seven from a cup that was barely half full. And even with a barely halfway full cup, they managed to empty it out fully to make everyone else around them happy. It's time to stop that. If you're feeling tired, it's because you're giving too much of yourself. If you're not happy, You have to change what you're doing daily that's causing that unhappiness. If you feel like you've got the entire world on your shoulders, allow yourself to ask for help or push back when people put everything on your plate. Again, you can't be superwoman or superman every day, and that's okay. Number four, stand up for yourself. And this one can be pretty scary and weird at first, but I promise it will get better with time maybe for the last few months, years, decades, you've been allowing anyone and everyone to just walk all over you, take advantage of you, be in and out of your life as they please. Allowing others to do this sends a message that you don't have firm boundaries in place. It says that you will allow people to disrespect you, blame you, and do as they please because you're not worthy of anything better. And that's clearly not the case. We both know that. So this is where you have to get firm. Letting people know that you value your time, you value your space, and you value real people in your life. If someone decides that they want to disrespect you, that's going to be the first and last. If someone decides they want to take advantage of you, that's going to be the first and last. If someone decides they want to walk all over you like you're some type of a rug, that's going to be the first and last and you keep your foot down. As these so-called friends start walking out and doors start closing, many more doors will open with the right people, the people that belong in your life. And number five, self-care, self-care, self-care. And I know I talk about this in so many of my videos, but guys, I stand so strongly behind this one. You cannot get on this journey without incorporating self-care. You just cannot. Once you begin this journey and start working from the inside out, you will realize how much you neglected what you need most. And as I mentioned this before in my previous videos, self-care could be different for every person out there. For some people, it may be a hot bath. For others, it may be going to the gym. For the next person, it may be reading a good book. And for others, it may be joining a class and learning a new dance. Whatever it is for you, do it. It will bring you comfort. It will bring you peace. It will bring you joy. And I'm going to give you guys an example of something that I started a few months ago. I started dedicating a day out of the week, Thursdays, to run a hot bath and do a whole pamper routine 
for myself. So as soon as I'm home in the evening, the bathtub is getting filled with all the goods. Bubbles, salts, bath bombs. I've got the candles going. I've got the face mask on. I'm whitening my teeth. I'm doing the body scrub. I'm deep conditioning my hair. I'm listening to some relaxing music. This is my time, my self-care, my time for myself, and no one bothers me. And let me tell you, when I get out, I feel so relaxed and pampered, and I sleep like a baby, which means that I am so much more relaxed the next day. So guys, let's start adding this into our schedules. You have absolutely nothing to lose. Once you start doing your own self-care, you will only wish you would have started it earlier. So guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you guys got something out of it. If there's a video you guys would like me to make, let me know down below in the comments. I'll be more than happy to make it for you guys. As always, be sure you are liking, subscribing, sharing my content with all of your friends and family because as I mentioned before, I'm trying to get to 500 and I would greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate it. Feel free to drop any questions down below as well and I'll see you guys in my next one, okay? Take care.